So what will happen is if you see this this coupon rate, okay, as the LIBOR rate increases, please know that the LIBOR rate can be increasing, can be decreasing. So what we say is if the LIBOR rate, so LIBOR rate, let's say if it is increasing, what will happen to the coupon that you will get? It will increase. When the LIBOR rate is increasing, the coupon rate will also increase. Now, many times people are not interested in buying a bond which has a direct relationship. So, many times people want bond like this where the LIBOR rate is increasing, they want coupon rate to be decreasing. Okay, so, they want this type of bond also. When the LIBOR rate increases, they want coupon to decrease. Okay. So, the floating rate bond, the normal floating rate bond that is LIBOR plus half percent or two percent will not give you this because the LIBOR is increasing, the coupon is increasing. Okay. So what we have, a, we have a concept of inverse floater. Yes, it is possible. Okay. You have a concept of inverse floater. In inverse floater, what you say is, if the LIBOR rate is increasing, you want coupon to decrease. Please know that it is the inverse. You have a floater. Floater is directly proportional. You have an inverse floater which is inversely proportional to the LIBOR rate. So if you want to create an inversely proportional LIBOR, so you will say that this Let's say we'll say that the coupon rate is 7% minus LIBOR. Can I see this? Can I say that coupon rate is 7% minus LIBOR? So what will happen? If LIBOR is, let's say, 2%, the coupon is how much? 5%. If LIBOR is 3%, what is the coupon? 4%. So here LIBOR is increasing, the coupon is decreasing. So such type of instrument are called as the inverse floater. Okay. The benefit it is like uh, sometimes you may want to risk your investment okay, which is uh, inversely dependent. So if you let's say you have, it, it, it can be used for uh, hedging of the some of the cases wherein your, your floating rate is increasing your, in the case of floating rate, okay, typically what happens is if you are, this floating rate is increasing, the bond prices is decreasing. Simply what happens is the floating rate increases, the bond prices decreases, okay, because the required rate is increasing, okay, such, so you can have a situation wherein you can use this kind of uh, floater, okay, so you, they, this will be used specifically for hedging, okay, but please note that, okay, you are only, why you are thinking from the increasing rate, when the increasing rate the coupon will decrease, but what if, if you are expecting the market rate to go down? If you're expecting that the market rate will go down, instead of increasing, it will go down, what what will happen? So should I invest in a bond? So you are investing market rate is LIBOR rate is going down. If you invest in a direct uh, floaters, the coupon rate will decrease, right? So when the mark in LIBOR rate goes down, what will happen to a coupon of a reverse floater? Inverse floater, it will increase. So do not think the way it's given, right? Think opposite also. So when the reference rate it decreases, the coupon rate it increases. So if your view is that the market interest rate will be going down, you should be not buying the floater, but you should be buying an inverse floater.